hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miss Coffee and today we're back with the unboxing. Yes. So as you can see here, we have not one, not two, but three Diamond Art Clubs that we're going to unbox today. I hope you're excited for this. Now, two of these are from the same artist and one of them is from a new artist that I don't know. So we're going to check that one out first. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. As you can tell from the side of the box that this is a square diamond painting. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So let's go ahead and without further ado, which kit is this? Now, this is one of the kits from their anniversary sale. Diamond Art Club just celebrated their four-year anniversary and they did a massive sale with a massive amount of kits. I wasn't able to get a bunch of them. I got a couple of them though. I got my favorites of the ones that I did like. So here they are and of course you can probably guess which ones they are because they feature POC and if you don't know what that means, that means person of color. So this first one is Flower Crazy by Sandra Winther. Oh my god, isn't she gorgeous? She actually reminds me of my sister-in-law. She's so gorgeous. Look at that hair. Oh my God. Now for those folks that are like, Miss Coffee, was there a kit that made you want to get back into diamond painting? This kit almost got me there. It almost got me there. So we're going to take a look at the kit to see if it give me that, that razzle dazzle that I need to get my mojo back. So I hope you're all, again, having a wonderful, wonderful day. We're going to go ahead and get into this. <gasps> Yay! We got a new toolkit. The new toolkits come in this yellow bag just like that. And we're going to take this out here. And we're gonna bloop right there on the bed. And let's take a look at this toolkit. So if you have not seen Diamond Art Club's newest toolkits, ooh, they, uh, they, okay. We have those pink tweezers. Now I love these pink tweezers. And of course they are the sharp tweezers. So please make sure that they are sheathed when you're not using them so that you don't shank yourself. We also have, oh, ooh, we have the yellow pen. Now it's a yellow glitter pen, so you might not be able to see the glitter, but there's a little bit of glitter on there. We have this beautiful red washi tape. Oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? I don't even really use washi tape. I just collect it at this point, but oh my gosh, I might have to use that. That is gorgeous. And then we have this beautiful crusted, I want to say crusted diamond minder. Look at that razzle dazzle. And then we have some multi-placers. We have a clear hard plastic boat. This isn't their normal plastic boat. This is a clear hard plastic boat. It also comes with a stopper if I can pick it up and show you guys like you don't know what a stopper is. I just like putting the stopper in it. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. All right. Never mind. So we also have a yellow squishy and the heart shaped um, container with the wax in it, which has, I want to say two plates of wax in it. So that is what is included in the new Diamond Art Club toolkits. And there you go. There's a stopper. I got it. Yay. Yay for me. And then of course they have some baggies in there. Um, so in case you want to um, bag up your drills, I don't use those baggies just because they're the cheaper baggies and they tend to break a little bit sometimes when you wear it, when you use them a lot. So I don't use those baggies, but the toolkit is off the chain. I absolutely love it. And that's just the first one. We haven't seen the other two. So let's take a look to see. Okay. Toolkit. At this kit. Cause I've been so excited to see this kit. You guys. This is what I thought was in that box. If you saw my post on social media that the a wrong package got delivered to my house and it was actually supposed to go about two blocks away. Um, this is actually the kit I thought it was, but I had already gotten this kit a couple of days beforehand. So I was like, okay, whatever. So here we go. We have that blue light blue paper that says, thank you, has a discount code in it. Y'all don't care about that blue paper. Here we go. Sandra Winther, flower crazy. Oh my God. Look at, oh my gosh, she is so gorgeous. She is so, oh, I hope they left her signature in. Okay, y'all, we got to take a look at this. We got to take a look at this. I haven't been this excited about a diamond painting in a long time. All right. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see. What do you guys think? Did they leave a signature in? You've probably seen this kit already, but I'm just asking because I haven't seen it yet. So let's see. Bam. No, they did not leave the signature in. Oh, come on, Diamond Art Club. Y'all could have left that in there. We could have had an autograph. Aw. But that's okay because look at this cat. It is gorgeous. I love it. Now, I don't usually typically like flowers, but the way my life is set up right now, this canvas is giving me life. It has 47 colors. Here is the color list. Oh my God, you got, look how vibrant those colors are. Oh my God. 
Cat over there doing big things. I, I'm just saying, shout out to Cat because she is doing big things. I absolutely am in love with this kit. And I can only imagine how vibrant it's going to be with the colors on it. So right now you're looking at it and the colors are a little bit dull. But the colors that I have in my kit, oh my gosh, yeah, that is going to be stunning. So we're not going to go through all the diamonds because we don't have time for all that. We got two other kits to unbox. We're going to figure out what our ABs are. So here are some ABs here. I see an orange 131. So it looks like we have 131 and 141 as ABs in this kit, which is a little sad because you would think there would be a little bit more ABs. But if you can't see, there are some white speckles going on in here. I'm seeing these little white dots everywhere. Those are going to be our ABs because that's going to be number 141. Now, if you're new to diamond painting, you don't know what AB is. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. When you lay them down on the, the canvas and lay them next to regular drills, it will pick up the light from the regular drill and make it sparkle brighter as well, because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So that is what an AB is. We have two of them in this kit, and as you can see, we have nice, bright, summery, vibrant colors. Perfect kit for the summer. And of course, you guys know I had to get her because I've been wanting more POC and diamond Diamond Painting and Diamond Art Club hit it on the head with this one. Oh my God, she is gorgeous. I hope to see more canvases from this young lady because, oh my God, they translate well, very well. Look at the details in the flowers. Her hair is all curly. Yes! This is the art style that I hope to have one day, but right now I'll, I'll have my fourth grade art style. Either way, so let's go ahead and take a look. And again, let's say the sparkle whites that you see are ABs. And then what's the other one? Number one. I see number ones in our hair. These sunflowers have number ones. This has number ones. This has number ones. So the canvas is infested, okay? We have infested with ABs. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Woo, that asthma was acting up just now, wasn't it? All right, so this kit is absolutely gorgeous. 47 colors. Flower Crazy by Sandra Winther and Diamond Art Club. I absolutely love this kit, 10 out of 10. So, we're going to put this kit away, and we're going to check out the next kit, okay? I'm sad to see it go, but I got to put it away to check out the other kit. So, movie magic? All right. So, our next kit is by, of course, it's by my girl, Christina LeRae. Yeah! You guys know I had to get it! Butterfly Glow. This is a round. It's a 51 by 66. Now, the other kit was a 56 by 74, because I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention I was too excited. So let's go ahead and rip into this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's like Christmas when you open these diamond paintings, ain't it? Ah, we got a new toolkit! Okay, the toolkit's gonna have the exact same thing in it. Not really, but sorta kinda. Um, so the only reason I'm gonna show you this again is because they usually typically put in a different minder and uh, washi tape. So let's see what minder we got. Oh, we got a black rose! We got a black rose, isn't that gorgeous? And then we got this really pretty washi tape that's triangles, it's like watercolor triangles. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, we got a red squishy, do we have a red pen? Oh, we have a yellow pen with a red squishy. Yellow pen, red squishy. All right, and the rest of the toolkit is the same, seven and a four placer, one pen, two plates of heart-shaped wax and a caddy, and then the clear boat, which this is a more of a, this, this is a little bit more, it's not as clear as the last one, but I'll take it. I, it's cute, it's cute. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in here. Because y'all ain't had come here for no toolkit, I'm just saying. That black rose, though. They Oh, that black rose, they, they doing the most right now. Diamond Art Club out here showing out and stuff. All right. So we're going to put that away. We're going to toss that off to the side. And then we're just going to... That right on out there. Now, one thing I did notice with the other kit, I think I might have got stuck in the bottom of the box, is that sticker. So this one did come with a sticker, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side of my box. Because that's what we do, so that when I store it away, I know exactly where it is. We're just going to put it right there on the side. Bam. Bam. That, that kit makes me want to work on a Diamond Art Club, I'm not going to lie. Butterfly Glow. Here's her sticker. Bam. I'm just going to put that on there like that. Achoo! Safety first. And now let's take a look at Butterfly Glow by Christina LeRae. Y'all y'all know Christina LeRae is my girl. So... We have that blue paper again. 
And then we have the Christina LeRae kit. We have 35 colors, so not a lot of colors, but as you can see, the artwork doesn't depict a lot of colors. So I was, I'm actually shocked that it has 35 colors. Um, Butterfly Glow. Hold up, is there anything special about this kit that's gonna freak me out? Like that it glows in the dark? Asking for myself, because that 3865 right there look a little glowy. It look a little glowy to me. This is a round kit. And it's their typical size, which is the 56 or 51 by 66. Usually it's like 54 by something, but it's not super huge. I would say this is a beginner friendly kit, um, mostly because there's a lot of color blocking, which is a lot of the same color in an area. So let's take a look at this. Are you ready? Bam. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Christina Delore does a such and a wonderful job doing these. Now, I was trying to figure out what this was. Because I'm like, I didn't think she had a cross on her necklace. She does not. That is a sparkle from her necklace. But her hair is purple and gradients of blue. I want to say. Or teal, maybe? I think that might be teal. And then the background here is like a bluish, tealish color. Essentially, blue teal is the thing for this. And of course... Uh, it has the white border to it on the outside of it where the butterflies are, which is great because when you go to frame this, it already looks like it's matted, which of course you can mat it if you want to, but it looks matted with the, the things out here. And it's just like it has butterfly print around it. Absolutely gorgeous kit. Love Christina Lorray's art style. Oh my gosh. So again, this kit has 35 colors. We have two ABs as we can see here at the top. We have numbers one and number two. So let's take a look to see if we can find number one and two on here. Y'all already know that the drill feels nice and clear. Diamond Art Club doesn't usually have issues with their symbols. Um, what they do have issues with, though, is hiding the ABs in here where we can't find them. So I'm seeing ABs as this the blue swirl that's going around her. That is number one AB, which is this blue color here. It's like blue, it's like blue raspberry lollipop. So this blue around her that's swirling around, which would be this here, this blue line. That is going to be ABs. The butterflies, the blue part of the butterflies, AB. The blue part of this butterfly, the blue part of that one, and the blue part of that one is ABs as well. As long as, as well as the wings on this one. Now, the one I'm looking for that because those are number ones. I'm looking for number two. Number two is a purple color, so that means it has to be down here somewhere. And all this purple. So where's the number two? That. See, this is what I mean. Diamond Art Club got problems hiding stuff. They don't want you to find the ABs. They want them to sneak up on you. So, let's see. We have number ones. I thought I saw a number two just now. And there's purple number twos. Where are the ABs? I might have to pause y'all to find these. Jeez, um. AB, AB. Can y'all see me over there? Y'all can't see me. <laughs> I don't want to have my back all up in the camera. Um... Where are those ABs? Diamond Art Club, look, listen, I'm gonna need y'all to stop hiding these ABs in the places. Y'all know my eyesight ain't the best nowadays. Um, so let's see here. I'm seeing the number ones. Y'all see the number ones right here? All those number ones. But where are the number twos? Number ones in her hair? Number one in her hair? So we got lots of number ones. But there's a small bag of number twos. So, okay, boom, heart, number two. Which means the other heart, number twos. Any more hearts? Is it just the hearts? Oh, come on, Diamond Art Club, don't be stingy. I think it's just the hearts, you guys. But that's okay, because there's a crap ton of that blue color in her hair, on the butterflies, all on her necklace, all over the butterflies everywhere. So uh, there's a nice sprinkling of ABs in this kit. I might change these to uh, some of t uh sparklers, which if you don't know what sparklers are, they're like, you know, rhinestones. So uh, dpwithsparklers.com for your rhinestone needs. Um, Y'all go visit t -Mall. Tell them this coffee sent you. <laughs> Anyways, um... So yeah, so this kit has a lot of nice ABs in it. I really, really love this kit. I love the fact that it's a lot of color blocking. She's going to come out great, but we're not going to stop there because we're going to go back to that first kit as well because I just thought about it. We got to check that skin tone. We got to check the skin tone. So her skin looks like it's lots of S and H, which is 350 and 351. Now, sometimes you have to trust the process when it comes to skin tones and other times they just, it's a swing and a miss. So, uh, I want to check to see what color the skin tone is. That's 347. I was about to say, that's too dark. 
Okay, so I have a 341 here. So she is going to be a little red bone. So 351 and then 350. Again, I don't want to take all the drills out of here. Okay. So these two colors here are going to be your skin tone. So like, they're not too far off. I don't know why I never thought to do this before. Like, check it against my own skin. It's a little red, but she is a... She she looks darker skinned, so like that that might work. That might work. That might work. Again, trust the process before you before you start freaking out. Get some of the skin tone done, and then see if it, it it'll work out. So speaking of that, I was supposed to do that skin tone video, y'all. I gotta get on the ball with these videos. I'm I'm slacking. I'm sorry. It's been a it's been a really bad mental health few months for me. I'm sorry. I'll get back on the ball with these diamond paintings here in a little bit. All right. So what I'm gonna do real quick, and I'm gonna do a little movie magic. We're gonna bring out the other kid again. I wanna see what skin tone, tone color they use for her. So I'm seeing like this weird squiggly 3778. Letter E is 3830. E percent sign. So 3830. Okay, so I have a feeling that this one hit the nail on the head with that skin tone. It's just a little bit brighter than me. It's what my skin tone would look like if I was in the sun all day. So it's a brighter colored uh, brown. And I think that's gonna look great. And that is 3830, which is in these highlighting colors. So if that's the highlighting color, let's see here. This here is also a shading color. So this is a shading color, meaning it's one of the lighter colors on the kit, which is gonna be like right here. I think they're gonna hit the nail on the head with the skin tone on this particular kit. So I'm really happy to see that. Um, again, kudos to Kate and the folks over at Diamond Art Club for the skin tone, because I know it's a struggle trying to get these brown skin tones. So um, we're gonna do another little movie magic and get the last kit out because I don't want this video to be forever. So movie magic. All right, we're on our last kit. Are you guys excited? I know you're excited and sad at the same time. You don't want it to end, but it's got to end at some point. All right, so this last kit, as you can see, is a square. So we only had one round, got a couple squares. I'm a little nervous about squares nowadays, but you know, I'll take my chances. Uh, square kit, which one is it? Butterfly Beauty, yes. Now, if you didn't know, I collect Christina Larray's artwork. I have all her stuff. So uh, I was very happy to see these kits coming to diamond paintings. Um, even though not all kits need to be diamond paintings, but I'm glad that they still are incorporating some of her kits into diamond paintings because I hadn't seen one in a while. So get rid of that box. There's that. We got that sticker. Bring that box back here. Sticker just going on the side over here. So when I store it away, I can figure out what it is. Bam. Put that trash off to the side. We're going to open this up. Open this up. There we have it. All right, so butterfly or beauty, butterfly beauty. This kit is we have that purplish blue paper. That's like reminds me of Frozen every time I see that paper. So this, I'm I'm a little I'm wondering about this kit. I'm curious. I'm curious because this looks like a textured background. So this is the image. It is Christina LeRae's Butterfly Beauty. It is a 51 by 64 square with ABs. So let's take a look at the okay toolkit. Nobody really cares about these toolkits. I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that cares. I don't typically care about toolkits um, because I just donate them, but. I want to see what they have in the lines of the washi tape and stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And then what? Oh my gosh, looky. We got the cream rose. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. All right, so that is the minder and the washi tape that come in this particular toolkit. And because it's a square, it also will come with those really cute pink branded tweezers, which I thought they were getting rid of the tweezers because they didn't like the way that the name was on it, but that might be coming in the future. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get that out here. This one, I think, seems it seems to be a little bit smaller than the other ones. 
which is just fine. So we're gonna roll it backwards. You ready? Here we go. Flip. Oh my. Oh her. Oh 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 my. Okay. So first thing I noticed, the background. What is that? Thirty. Okay. So I'm seeing. I want to say I see purples, but I don't see any purples in the background, which is perfectly fine. It's fine. I can add purple if I want purple. But I'm wondering what color that is. We'll have to look at it. We got that guy hiding in the toilet bowl again. Tell that guy to get out of there. And then right underneath him, we got the nipple. Jeez, oh. Diamond Arclo, Club, what are y'all doing with these symbols? <laughs> are y'all doing these symbols, says Diamond Arclo. Club. So we have 43 colors with this particular kit. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Look at this. Look at this. The arrows. Notice how not only are the arrows a different color, but the backgrounds are a different color. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, because good God. We got the microphone. We ain't even going to say what that is. We got that guy hiding in the toilet. We got the nipple. We got the alien guy with the two eyes, but then the alien guy with the three eyes. We got this guy over here. I don't even know what's going on with this. It is. It's like they're sending us a secret message or something, like a decoder ring is needed. All right, 43 colors. Let's take a look. Let's see what ABs we have. We have... Oh, geez, we have quite a few. We have four ABs. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to check AB. Oh, all right then. Again, AB, iridescent coating put onto the drills to make them sparkle a little bit brighter. When you lay them down on the canvas, they'll make the drills next to them sparkle brighter as well because if one shines, we all shine, you heard. So that is what your AB is going to be. And look at this beautiful gray AB. What color is that? 139 AB. Oh, yes. So 139 AB. That one is going to be number four. Um, for a minute there, I thought I had drills out, but the bags are just so clear. Um, let's see here. Because again, I don't want to pull all these out. But you can see the colors that they have in this kit. I just want to see the ABs. So we have a gray AB. We have a purple and a white AB right here. So we have 129 or 126. And then we have 125. And then let's take real quick skin tone main colors, eight and H. Eight is 3830, which is the same color from the first girl. And uh, H, 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 H. 3550, uh, bleh, 356. Now that color scares me just a little bit, but let's just make sure. So this is one of the skin tone colors. This is going to be the darker of the two colors, um, which I think they hit the nail on the head with this one as well. I think only the other butterfly one by Christina Loray, am I worried about the skin tone? This one, I think they, they hit the nail on the head with this one. Let me check for that other color, 436. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. 407. Um, what we got? Oh, there it is. So yeah, they definitely hit the nail on the head with that skin tone color there. So I'm happy to see it. They, okay, they're two out of three. One of them is a little sketchy. We're going to check that one out in a little bit, but two out of three for the skin tones. Again, POC are hard to do because getting that skin tone correct where they're not super red or pink or orange is hard. So the fact that they were able to nail two of these, I'm pretty impressed. Um, Again, 43 colors. Let's look for those ABs real quick. So I'm seeing a lot of white um, ABs, which are the uh, number ones. I'm seeing those in the butterfly's wings. Um, I'm Let's see, number three, I'm also seeing up here in this butterfly's wings. Sadly, I don't see any in her eyes, but I would use a quad cube for the sparkle in her eyes. Um, what her face is just beautiful. But quad cube uh those are the cubes that can fit over four spaces and see how there's three spaces there i would just cover all three of those spaces or at least four uh two of them with a quad cube just to make that sparkle that glimmer in her eye a little bit more prominent so i have some number twos here on her chin i have some number threes on this butterfly here in her hair more number threes in the hair up here we have some number ones and number twos down in this butterfly same with this butterfly, ones and twos. Threes down here in this butterfly, ones and twos here. Another one with ones and twos. The only color so far that I'm not seeing 
is number four. And of course, you guys know that our club love to play hide and go seek and they're pretty good at it. So let's take a look closer for those number fours. It's going to be a gray color. The problem is I'm not seeing a lot of gray on this kit. So where exactly is that number four? So, okay, I seen it. Boom. They tried. They lost. I, I won this round. Four right there. So let's look on the outskirts of her hair. Boom. Four. Once you find one, you kind of get the rhythm and then you can find the rest of them. I don't see a whole lot of those number fours, but there's enough of them there that it's going to make a difference because those ABs are going to be sprinkled all throughout. I'm noticing that there's no ABs on her. She's also not wearing any jewelry. So we have those ABs and I want to see what this slash color, 37, 37.56, where is it? There it is. So it's an icy blue color. That's a that that's a weird difference from the canvas itself because that looks purple. Um, I could that could just be my color blindness acting up. You guys tell me. Does the background look purple? Because that's the color of the slash marks on the background, which is fine. Again, if you want to change that to purple, you can do a light purple for those. Um, but I just thought it was going to be purple, but it's more of a like a ice like a crystal ice blue. Or teal. Again, I'm colorblind. Don't mind me. So, we're going to close that back up. So, we have Beauty, Butterfly Beauty, 51 by 64. She has uh, A, B sprinkled all throughout the butterflies around her. She also has a couple on her face and throughout her hair. So, a nice sprinkling of A, Bs all around. Um, me, personally, if I was going to add any more enhancements to this, again, I would add quad cubes to her eyes to make the glimmer stand out. And I actually would not touch the background. Because they focus a lot of their A, Bs in the center, that's going to draw your eye to the center of the page. So, I would actually leave this canvas as is minus the quad cues that I'm going to put in her eyes so with that said little movie magic to bring back all kits all right folks so there you have it we have butterfly glow by Christina Loray absolutely gorgeous and then we move over here to this new artist that I'm unfamiliar with but I want to get familiar with her real fast Sandra Winther with the seven, or 56 by 74, she is absolutely stunning. By the way, Butterfly Glow is 51 by 66. And then we come over here to Butterfly Beauty, Tongue Twister, and she is a 51 by 64. All three kits are beautiful in their own way, but I absolutely have to say this middle one is my favorite. Oh my gosh, they're just so gorgeous. Christina Loray, of course, as usual, her kits translate very well in the diamond paintings. So I'm very happy to see that. But with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about these three kits, please leave those down in the comment section below. If these three kits are still available, I will go ahead and link them down in the description box. So check that out. With that said, please remember it's hard out here in these crafty streets. Please remember to stay safe. Stay caffeinated and stay crafty. And always try to remember to be kind to others, be courteous, and be cool.